Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Ray Tornin. Welcome back to Hearts Farm 4 as we are playing as Germany. So, sorry that this video is coming out so late at something come up. Uh, but yeah, I did add the Union of Britain to the Fourth International. I did not do this with the Italian Union because they should join that faction on their own. They have a focus that will result in them following the Soviet Union. So remember, we did set them to go that route. So they should be getting these focuses, and then they'll go with that one, and that'll result in them joining the 4th International. We can't see how far along Italy is on their focus tree. We just don't have enough intel on them. So not entirely sure just how long that will take for them to join the faction. But the British, they also have a focus that'll result in them potentially joining the Soviet Union. However, we don't know that the British will take that route. We weren't able to decide which one of these two branches they go with. Uh, we just were able to set them to go communist, so they could go with the British Communist Alternative, which does result in them creating their own faction. I think it gets rid of the Allies, and then they'll create the British Communist Alternative. Uh, so we don't know that they'll go with that route. And so I felt that it was best to go ahead and just add them into the faction now. The first thing we need to do in today's episode is spend some of these currencies. We got little power, we also have army and air experience that we could spend. In fact, with our land auction, it will not cost us anything. In order to get the first of our focuses here, uh, this will increase the organization for the infantry and also enable that tactic. But yeah, it costs zero experience. Uh, that's the same with the elastic defense. We just have so many bonuses that we don't have to spend anything here. So might as well get them now. And between the mobile infantry route and the Blitzkrieg one, I think we're going to go with this one here. So get the armored spearhead to increase the breakthrough and organization of our tanks. So again, that one's free. And that's unfortunately all we would get here. Uh, we could spend our air experience to start working on the paratroopers. However, we just started uh, getting those trained up. And so I think it would be better to instead invest in our air doctrine. Get direct ground support to increase the ground support by 20%. And that'll actually be helpful for us in today's episode since we're going to be going to war with Denmark. Uh, at the very end of last episode, we did get our war goal on them. Uh, but before we do that, uh, what we could do is go ahead and send an attach A to France since we can't send them volunteers if we're going to be doing the war against uh, Denmark. And so this is going to cost us 100 political power, also some command power, but it'll get us some more army experience, which we very much need. And we'll also increase the war support here. They would receive these bonuses here. However, they would not be willing to accept. That's interesting because their opinion of us is too low. So we need to boost opinion with them. Okay, well, we can do that. Might as well. Again, we have the political power. So let's go and invest and in trying to improve the opinion with the French here. All right, so I've already got our troops moving into this area. South Africa just declared their independence. So yeah, we're just waiting for the troops to get here and the planes to get some planning bonus as well. Uh, we got these tanks coming over here and then we'll declare war on them. Uh, so we got the interrogation techniques. Let's get these suicide pills next. Also got a trait for the close air support designer. So this is the first one for this particular MIO. So we could get the reduction bonus. Can also reduce the amount of fuel that they're using. You know what guys, let's actually get the ground attack. This is 10%. Uh, this is a mutually exclusive decision. But I'd rather have the ground attack rather than the increased air attack and defense. That's a 10% bonus, that's pretty nice. So let's go and get that. I'm going to update that immediately. Which means we will have to update the production line as well. So yeah, I already got the, the planes moving over here. The ships are in place as well. We're just waiting for the tanks. Uh, also, because we have a new front, we can attack them from this direction here, from Sweden. We are having some supply issues, unfortunately. We got the firefighting drills. We're going to be working on 1939 techs now, starting with the production one. So we got the concentrated industry three first. It's only going to take us 93 days due to our research bonuses. Uh, the trait that we got is for the submarine designer. We've already gotten this one out of these two mutually exclusive choices. So next, I think we're gonna go ahead and increase the production output so we can build them faster. 
All right, so we should have the tanks in place. They don't have all their equipment, but we'll at least want to get their organization up. I don't know how well this will work out. We should control the skies, but they do have fortifications in these locations. So across here, we're looking at a level three land forts. And then right here, they have a level two coastal fort. So they are going to get some fortification bonuses. That's going to make it a little bit more difficult for us to get across here. Didn't call our allies in, so we will need to call Sweden in. I'm not going to call in Iceland or Finland. We just don't need them bringing troops over here, causing us supply issues. I think it would be better to, to wait. So we didn't get the, the planning bonus here yet. So we'll have to see how well these troops can push forward. We we'll want to focus on this location since we're able to attack with all of these troops here. And it looks like that would be enough to get the win despite their little 30% fortification bonus. And the Kingdom of Denmark already surrenders. So we could state that we will protect them. This will get us political power and then they'll just become a puppet. Or we could just say no, decreasing our stability while increasing our war support. I think that's probably what we're going to do. I'd rather just annex them and occupy them in this particular case. Because I don't expect it to be too difficult. Getting across here could be a problem. We'll let the, the Swedes weaken themselves first. Kind of weaken uh, that front, soften it up a bit. Uh, we did get the armored signal companies. So apparently these can only be used within our land cruisers. If you read it there, then it, it states that. Uh, so we don't have those yet. Uh, will be helpful you know, once we get those, if we get those. Uh, but as of right now, that doesn't help. But we do have the armored signal companies. I don't think we're using signal companies in our armor divisions. I have to double check. Next, we're going to get the 1939 artillery tech. Of course, I'll unlock the new guns. It also gives us the medium cannons for our tanks because I'd like to get those designed. And that's probably what we'll use for the medium tanks for the good combination of the hard and soft attack. And we'll be using that artillery manufacturer as well. So we'll get that done in 80 days. We will accept the lend lease from Sweden. Uh, we will decline Finland joining. I want them, again, bringing these troops over here. Uh, so this is done. Let me just turn the speed down. You know, their attack has failed. I'll see if we can get across. I expect there'd be issues with the fortifications and the number of troops they have there. Kind of irrelevant, though, with us winning here. We just got to finish up on the defense and then we'll be able to attack across and up north. We want to lock those troops down. And then with these guys, let's have these two attack up this way and this guy will attack over here. Oh, let's make sure those tanks are assisting. Alright, so keeping those troops locked down. Uh, we already moved over here. Let's have one infantry unit. Or maybe we should do a tank since they're faster. Go down here and grab these island provinces. We'll also send an infantry to assist them. We want them to go this way. We need to take over that province too. We'll just have one of these infantry divisions do this though. And then we'll also want to send some infantry across here. So we don't have to worry about those guys because we've pretty much already won that battle. Uh, we finished up our national focus. So we'll have to see how Austria responds. We kind of have a, a good idea of what they're going to say. I think we'll reassert our Eastern claims first, 35 day focus. Regarding Czechoslovakia, I'm not sure which route we want to go here. Could go the historical route to demand the Sudetenland, which will eventually result in us annexing them here, at least trying to. That could, of course, just result in us having to go to war with them. And then before we do that, you got to do the first Vienna Award. Or we could get the war preparations. I didn't want to get this yet because this applies the next time you go to war. And it only lasts 730 days, so we didn't want it to kick off with any of these little quick wars. I want to wait until we get closer to the to the larger conflict. Well, with this direction, you can instead try to befriend Czechoslovakia, and this results in them getting a modifier which will increase their daily fascism support. If it goes above 45%, they'll have a civil war, but you have to get it above 45% in order to take this focus, because it needs to be at 50%, or have the current ruling party be fascist. But if you do it this way, then you'll get uh, cores on that territory. 
so it's a little bit better. We'll spend less time doing focuses with this route here since it's just the two. Well, this one has three and two of those are 70 day focuses. However, it would take a long time to get the, the fascist support up high enough to do that. So I'll probably just go the traditional route. I did want to point that out that that is a choice and one that I considered for the, the cores there. But we're gonna go with this one first. So that's to get the state of Memel, which isn't named Memel, but it will be eventually. So we're attacking the convoys throughout the Baltic with some success here. Uh, we should be controlling the skies as well. See, I'm having success there. Uh, we also have some free military factories. We did just get the new armored support vehicle. So this has two armor, nothing in reliability, three in main gun, and one in the engine. So I suppose we'd want to change over to that armored support vehicle. Yeah, it makes sense. So let's go ahead and do that. Although it didn't outdate the other one. I will also want to give them the MIO here. So that'll cost us five experience. Oh, that's interesting. It changes the look of it when we did that. Is there no way to change it back? That's kind of a shame. Okay, so what we want to do is just go ahead and decommission this one. Uh, even though it doesn't have reliability, maybe we should add to that. Yeah, you know what? Let's go ahead and do that. I know it costs us 10 experience. But yeah, let's go ahead and do that. And then we'll go ahead and decommission all of these here. And then add this one in there. We still have an extreme shortage of the support equipment. So we're going to put the military factories into that. We are short on the rubber as well. But we're not going to trade for that. All right, so we're moving over to here. Let's make sure that all the troops are moving forward here since we do have a good solid front in this occasion. What we need to do is build a front line here so that these guys don't try and leave. That's exactly what they're gonna do. And then we'll also give them a planning bonus. This will be much easier to attack from this direction. But we'll keep those troops attacking there. So yeah, the tank will go over that way, and these guys will continue over here. Uh, we already pushed forward there. We just need to finish up the defense on this location, and then we can go ahead and attack into these provinces here. And once they finish up with this defense, we'll also do this attack. Okay, so we'll have to send those guys. You know what? I don't think any more divisions are needed here. Let's send them over here. So we'll have them attack here, and then go over to this location. All right, so the tank has almost arrived. And we lost the front again. Okay, well, that's a shame. We gotta recreate it. Or you know what? They created it down here. That's what happened. Okay, I'm not gonna worry about that. I'll just assign these guys here. Cause yeah, this will be destroyed uh, once we finish up with that battle. So not a problem. Uh, these guys need to go over here. Help us do the attack there. And these guys are going over there. I think we'll probably keep them in this area. All right, so it's going to advance. And the Italians stand against us. So we can state that their heads are getting too big, or we cannot handle this form of confrontation. This will result in us losing stability, war support, and a lot of the popularity of fascism. Uh, we're going to go with this option here. We know we're going to be fighting the Italians eventually. Uh, sunk two of the Danish submarines there. Looks like that's it as far as naval battles. Uh, could bring another tank over here just in case we need them. I feel like we should be able to get done with just these guys. But as of right now it is in the red. Uh, Austria did refuse our demands for annexation so we'll get claims on their territory and a war goal to attack them. Uh, we're also going to get a bit of war support. Uh, looks like the fascist side is unfortunately losing here. So what we'd probably want to do is get this war finished up and then send the volunteers to them to try and help them. Because uh, as of right now, it does seem like we're going to be facing a communist France. Uh, so we'll be completely surrounded. Uh, France, Italy, Britain, and the Soviets. Uh, obviously, that is not how I'd intended things, but it doesn't always go the way you want. It doesn't surprise me. That the French fell. Whichever way I send the French, they always fell. Like, I had one person that was unhappy that I've changed it so the French are going to be our ally. I don't really understand that. Like, they act like it was making us more powerful. I think the French are, like, the weakest of the seven major powers. 
they're absolutely terrible in this game. And I would much prefer to have Italy as our ally. So yeah, I just didn't really get that. You know, let's pull these guys back. Maybe they'll do better if they're not a part of that attack there. Yeah, they will. Because they weren't reinforcing, and so that's what the issue was. So we'll let these guys rest up, and then we can always have them assist. But let's get these troops over there. And we'll want to make sure they're assigned to this front. And then they can help us attack the capital. Really want to get this war done. But I don't think until we, we take the capital that we'll, we'll actually get the, the victory here. Alright, so the tanks will go wrap around here and take this territory over while the infantry finishes up there. The conflict is just about done, guys. We just gotta take this one province. Which they have nowhere to retreat to. Let's go ahead and send these guys in. And so it's just a matter of getting that one victory, but France is already annexed. So now we have a French commune. I suppose that's not incredibly surprising. When we send the French communists, they always fail. When we try to have them go the monarchy route, they always fail. So of course they would fail with the communist route as well. Uh, so not surprising there, but that does mean that we're going to have a much more difficult fight ahead of us. Because we're only going to have the Turkish Empire. And we're going to have to fight the Soviets, the French, the Spanish, and the British. It's going to be a, a more difficult fight, so what we might want to do is start working on increasing somebody's fascist support. Yeah, let's just have everybody attack here, get this done. The tanks are going to come assist, and we're going to go ahead and have these guys. How about try and finish that? If we had sent volunteers, maybe we could have stopped them from losing. It's possible to say, guys. And it's certainly a shame. But I like when things don't work out exactly as you intended. Adds a little bit of a dynamic play there. But it is unfortunate that we will not have a major ally outside of Japan, which they're not in our faction. We might change that up. Since I did use an event to add the British to the Soviet faction, I don't think it would be unfair, particularly considering the fact that the French just uh, went communist. I don't think it'd be unfair to have Japan join our faction, but they also might start war with the United States, which I'm not really interested in doing, so that's something to consider as well. Uh, we need to do this peace treaty. Uh, nothing really to do here, guys. We're just gonna go ahead and annex them and take their ships. Whichever ships I didn't destroy already, which it looks like they have some here. So yeah, we'll go ahead and submit our demands, and there shouldn't be anything else that we need to do. Just going to confirm an exit. Nobody can really contest with us since there's nobody else even in the war outside of Sweden. So we did get some dockyards from this. For now, we'll just place these into the convoys. It's only one dockyard anyways. Uh, eventually, we're going to want to maybe construct some other ships. All right, guys. So I got our army set up. We've got Manstein currently on the border with Checklist of Vakia since he's got the Fortress Buster and they have those fortifications. We don't have enough divisions, I think, to cover all the provinces just yet. But our next attack is going to be against Austria. So we have Vittelsben over here, along with Gadarian. So he's going to be invading into the easier areas, you know, where we don't have to cross rivers or go into mountains. And we're going to try and go after their victory points here. I also got the Air Force and the Navy set up. So the you know planes will obviously be helping us out over here. Currently have 600 fighters and 575 close air supports. We'll let them move over here and then we'll probably just train them while we wait for the troops to get ready for the conflict. And then the fleet just going back to port since obviously we will not be battling the non-existent uh, Austrian fleet. We do have a decision we want to take to donate fighters to Bulgaria. It's just 12 fighters. And if they accept the donation, then it will increase their opinion and facilitate cooperation between our two countries. So go ahead and take that. And then we're also going to spend our army experience for our army command. We haven't gotten these two just yet. So I suppose we'll start with this one, the Spirit of Division Command. Two of these will increase our division speed by 5%. So it's just a matter of whether we want the coordination or the organization loss when moving reduction. I think we're going to go with this one. The coordination would be pretty helpful. 
So that'll be 50 experience, since we won't have enough to get the Spirit of Academy just yet. Uh, however, we could go ahead and take a look at our officers, because I believe we have that one tank, that one tank division who has a Citation. And we're going to grant them the Knight's Cross to increase their rate through by 7.5%. It'll cost us 30 political power. So it's great having this huge stack of political power, it means we can grant out Citations uh, whenever we have them. So they did accept it. All right, excellent. So again, it's just 12 old fighters. So now we got to move all our troops over to this area. Shouldn't take too long. Spear did complete his final focus, which is Wonder Weapons. And so that's going to grant us an increased level for some of our scientists, including the primary one that we're using right now. Uh, also gives us another character for our military high command. He increases the research speed for all four of the different types of special projects. Also, the facilities will require less supplies. And also, it modifies the Wonder Weapons bonus here, so increasing the special project speed and the facility construction speed by 10%. And so, we'll be able to build these facilities a little bit quicker. So right now, we'll be getting this one done on March 4th. Speaking of special projects, I actually forgot that we did get our second breakthrough here for the land warfare facility. And so that means we can now get the super heavy howitzer. So that's what we're gonna work on. Uh, you can see that he now has a higher level and thus this is going to take less time to research. Uh, so we're gonna get started. And that will require those resources, the tungsten and the steel. Luckily we actually had an excess of tungsten since we're getting so much from Sweden. A little short on rubber there, but it's not too big of an issue. So we need to let these troops get over here and get their planning done and also increase their uh, organization. So they canceled at least, not surprising, since we're not at war anymore. So this is just concerning Mexico. I think they just created a new faction, which the Dominican Republic, Venezuela have just joined. So we'll have to see what happens there. I assume that's going to result in them going to war with the Americans eventually. And that could result in America joining in other conflicts we'd rather have them stay out of. We'll have to see what happens there. But there's not a democratic faction over here anymore. Uh, Sweden is justifying a war goal against us. Well, that's strange. Oh, okay. This would just give them a war goal against Finland, but as a subject and also in the same faction as them, uh, they wouldn't actually be able to make use of that war goal. Uh, so we finished the Union of Britain again, so let's go ahead and work on the Union of Soviet Republics now. A lot of unions. Got the Italian Union as well. They still haven't joined that faction. Neither has the French Commune, but I assume they'll both join uh, the the Soviet faction. Uh, we did get another operative. We'll get the Austrian Otto since he's a commander. I suppose this will mean that we'll want to use this character eventually. Remember, he's French. I thought they were going to be an ally, but that's uh, not the case. Uh, we actually have two operatives up here since we had the one that was in Denmark. I suppose we'll send the Austrian to Holland, since we already have two here and we're about to declare war on them, so we wouldn't be able to do much over there anyways. And so let's go ahead and build up the Intel network in Holland. And then with this other character, let's start working on France. I might in fact send this character over there as well, or maybe we'll just wait until we finish up here with Austria, because I want to try and increase their fascist support. I mean, there's not much at this point, so I don't know that there's anything we can do with the modifiers they probably already have that's increasing communist support, but we can always try. Uh, let's go and put these into the tanks. We'll soon want to start producing the uh, medium tanks. We're just waiting to get this tack here done in 44 days, and in 30 days we can start producing the, the mechanized units. So we'll take a look at our fleet here. I want to make sure that we're training up the submarines if they need it, which a few of these do. These ones are good to go. Uh, we have these ships that we got from Denmark, and so we'll let those guys train. We'll let them train as well. And it seems we have two ships here. We'll just place them into this fleet. All right, so that looks pretty good. Just make sure we're training up the fleet. And while we could send the, the planes out to train, it doesn't really make sense since we're about to declare war here. I don't think we have enough troops over there. So let's take the ones that are over here. 
and get them joining. That'll get us up to 23 divisions, and I suppose we could also take one from over here. What is that, this guy? Go to this area, and then bring this unit to get us up to the full 24 divisions there. Should have already done that so that they were getting a planning bonus, but uh, it's fine. Uh, so we did get this focus to reassert our eastern claims. So let's next get the demonstration of military achievements. That's because we have more than two subject nations and the 19 occupied states. And this is going to increase our political power by 50. We'll also get some war support. And then we'll get an additional bonus for all of Hitler, increasing stability and war support even further. That's only a 35 day focus, so I think it's worth getting. So we're going to invest in that. So just waiting for the troops to get over here. Uh, it is winter as well, so waiting a little while to declare war wouldn't be a bad idea. I want to see if anybody is guaranteeing them. It seems that there are two countries currently guaranteeing them, both Italy and the Union of Britain. So if we attack Austria, then we'll start the war. Lithuania did agree to grant us Memel, so that's excellent since that'll grant us the military factory and two civilian factories that are there. Uh, but unfortunately, we won't be able to declare war in Austria at this moment uh, because we don't actually want to start the conflict up just yet. Uh, we're clearly not ready to fight uh, both this huge communist faction with the Fourth International. A lot of members there. Yugoslavia is now in it. Of course, we got Spain. And then there's the Soviets, or whatever Russia's calling themselves now, the Union of Soviet Republics. And if Italy uh, also honors it and declares war on us, then that will result in them joining that faction. And then how long before the French join that faction? So we're going to have to change up our plans here. We're not going to be able to invade Austria just yet. We need to take care of some of these other problems, like uh, Poland, need to deal with that. And of course, Czechoslovakia, we need to deal with them as well, try to get control of the Sudetenland. So we're going to do this focus here, get that completed. And since we're not invading yet, it makes sense to have any of these guys train if they need it. Get a bit of uh, air experience here. So things are certainly not going the way we would like. Uh, we need to train up some more infantry. Because we have infantry equipment, there's some other stuff that we're lacking. We'll also go ahead and train up some tanks. Although it looks like we don't have any equipment for them. So we'll just have that set up so that when we get equipment, it'll go into that tank unit. So just need to continue to work on the military factories since we're still short on equipment. So take a look at the situation over here. You can see Japan is winning against China. So at least there's that. The fascists are winning in Asia. Uh, we have some free military factories. It's going to invest those into the, the trucks, artillery, anti-tanks. And eventually we'll also want to get some additional planes here after we get all that other stuff. And then we have a trait for the fast tanks designer. So let's get the increased defense so that we can get the right through and max speed. And then we'll have to make sure we get these updated as well. So now we're just uh, getting ready for the war. A member of Belgium is fascist. So we at least have one potential ally here. I wouldn't be surprised if France attacks them, so we might have to help them in that conflict. Could go to war with France, but likely as soon as we got a war goal on them. I was going to say that Britain would just guarantee them, but they're already doing that. Alright, so since we're not attacking here, let's take some of the troops and send them over to this front. So we can try and get at least all of the provinces defended there. You know, we're going to take the guy that's in Poland. Because we're going to try and boost the ideology here to fascists. Although it says it won't do it at all. Probably because they have... Well, we could try. But I'm guessing... Well, first of all, we don't have enough support there. Um, but I'm guessing they have a modifier. Maybe not. I was going to say something that's taking up communist support. But it doesn't look like that's the case. Now, one interesting thing here is that... Uh, Poland is actually going fascist. So instead of attacking and conquering Poland, we could instead try and ally them. 
But you see that their fascia support is going up from these two modifiers here. Uh, we did just get the mechanized researched. All right, excellent. Still need to get the infantry equipment. So I guess we'll get that. And then we'll want to start building the mechanized equipment. Could invest in them, but I don't think we will. Uh, we'll keep this applied for the breakthrough and the hardness bonus there. Uh, so let's go ahead and get some factories invested in this so that we'll have some of these ready for when we start building our medium tank divisions. So we do need to add the MPs here since we have them. And it would also reduce the amount of equipment and manpower that we need for the garrisons. As you see that we do have a little bit of a shortage, uh, particularly of the support equipment there. And Bulgaria approaches the German Reich. So I don't know if we're going to vent about that. Uh, but we got the Armored Maintenance Company. So we can take a look at that, even though we don't have the experience to actually make use of them, just to see uh, how they differ from the regular maintenance company, because I'm, I'm curious. Uh, we want to get the next industrial tank. Let's do the Construction 3 so that we can build a bit faster, really trying to get those military factories done. Uh, did get a trait here for our support equipment manufacturer. Let's reduce the amount of resources needed. That'd be helpful. We've just completed the aerodynamics and avionics facility. So we need to get a scientist assigned there. Uh, we also got an alert here. So I think we got an event which actually decreased the progress here. Just having really bad luck. Uh, with these events, unfortunately. So we'll probably be hiring Von Braun since he has the highest level. He's also a brilliant theorist, so that gives a 5% to special project speed and a 2% to the breakthrough bonus. He's a rocket specialist, so that's actually not what we're going to be researching first. And really, I think our best option if we wanted the specialization bonus would be Conrad here, since we're going to be going after the radar. I don't think his bonus will be as high, despite the fact that he does have the right trait, just because he's not as high of a level. So yeah, we'll go ahead and select uh, Von Braun instead. We'll be assigning him to the radar project. The helicopters requires two breakthroughs. We only have the one. So let's go and get that started. So we're now researching two different things, and uh, we have the free civilian factories to go ahead and build another one, which I think will get the naval engineering facility. This does need to be constructed on the coast. So not a lot of options. I suppose we'll just put it right there. Don't want to get it too close to our enemies. So place it there and let's go ahead and take it up to the top as well so that we're investing the full 15 factories into it. And then we need to get more military factories. I could also use another synthetic refinery. So you know what, let's go ahead and get one more of these as well. We'll build one right here making use of those 100% bonuses here. And I guess we'd have to construct in some of these locations with the 80% bonuses. All right, so that's good for now. Let's continue working on the military factories. Uh, it says we do have some doctrines available. And as usual, we'll be going for the air superiority mission efficiency. And then we also have, I well, said another doctrine, maybe it was just the paratroopers. So we could go ahead and do that since it's only going to cost 15. Increases the air defense for the transport planes and then for our special forces is going to increase their soft attack and organization and the paratroopers won't contribute as much to the uh, forces cap. So maybe you could get another division. I don't know. We'll have to take a look. Yeah, we could get one more. All right, so we'll go ahead and train that additional paratroopers division. Get them going into the training army here in Brandenburg, which we're still training. The current paratroopers also have a tank unit that's almost done training. Uh, we finished up our focus, so getting those nice bonuses there. So I feel like we don't have time to go this route. We're gonna go with the demand, the sedate lands. It'll be nice to get the actual cores, I suppose, but yeah, let's try and get control of the sedate land and eventually uh, annex them. We'll, we'll have to see what happens there. Uh, to see if the the British end up guaranteeing them, and you know maybe the the Czechs uh, refuse and we end up having to, to actually do a conflict, a, a full scale war. We don't need to be increasing the reduction cost of anything right now if we can avoid it. So we won't get this trait. Instead, let's go for this one here, which would 
reduce the reliability but actually decrease the production cost for the the trucks and motorized rocket artillery so let's go for that and then we'll need to uh, update those trucks so let's go ahead and spend some of that little power we have to develop northern and western germany i know it's cost of civilian factories but we really want to develop here since we're attempting to construct that uh, secret project facility and so yeah, that would be helpful and also we'll focus on building the military factories uh, over here in the west and then eventually we want to do the east but uh i think we'll wait to do that we finished the artillery two tanks that means we can now design our medium tanks get those producing uh, next we're gonna go for the anti-tank upgrade eventually i need to get these for the passive bonuses anyway and so we can move down those trees so might as well get them now and that's only going to take us 83 days so it's going to update the artillery first and then we'll go ahead and get our first medium tanks design so this one's focused on the heart attack with the high velocity cannon well this one here is focused on the soft attack since it has the close support guns and so we actually can't make any adjustments because we don't have any army experience but i would like to start building some medium tanks so for right now we're just going to build the panzer IV, and the only adjustment we'll make is change their equipment tab up yeah i don't have any experience to do anything else so we'll just go ahead and save this as is and then go ahead and start building these with the medium tank designer now we don't even have the military factories to grant them just yet with this right above the light tanks so we'd have to take some probably from the the trucks i think we're finally starting to do all right on the trucks so bring that down to 10. yeah that doesn't actually go into the tanks yet this is fine we're uh continuing to work on building the military factories yeah we gotta get some army experience guys so we can make some adjustments to the medium tanks there's also adjustments that we need to make to the the light tanks like uh adding the new radios on there maybe increasing their engines or their armor a little bit as well uh, we got the concentrated industry three all right fantastic let's go after the advanced machine tools next so white finland seeks german protection they are in our faction but technically we don't have to come to their aid if they're attacked by the Union of Soviet Republics. And so with this, we would have guaranteed them. All we're really getting is the resource rights in this territory with the eight steel and the two chromium. But we'll go ahead and do it anyways. We don't want to get the opinion hit there. So we will come to their aid. And we're also going to attempt to improve relations with Poland. We'll see how well that works out. Uh, they do not want to ally with us as they have strategic reasons not to bulgaria seeks balkan claims warranted so if we go with this option here we'll get an opinion boost and if anybody in our faction takes over those territories of course that's once uh, bulgaria has joined the faction then it will be uh transferred over to them so it's a total of six territories it's a shame we can't see what those other three states are because i do not want them to have the right to this one here with all of its oil as of right now, we know they would get this one, as well as this one, and Macedonia. You know what? I guess we're going to do it. We need allies against Greece and Yugoslavia. I suppose we do have the Turks, which I'm really hoping that we'll be able to invite them to the faction soon. Right now, we're at negative 34. But I'm hoping eventually they'll accept an invite to the axis with the magnetic mines completed let's go in and go over to the support company and start working on those 1939 tax we have a prototype decision available for that super heavy howitzer so we have to make a choice on our design focus so as development progresses a critical decision must be made we can prioritize fast production and smaller caliber guns or we could invest in bigger and heavier guns sacrificing production efficiency for unparalleled firepower and devastating impact so you can click on these to see what the effect would be we can keep the balance with no effect focus on firepower would increase production costs as well as soft attack and the extra collateral damage so two penalties here for some increased soft attack or focus on fast production and basically it's the opposite effects here well let's focus on the firepower even though it's not giving a huge bonus for these penalties here 
I just want as uh, good a firepower as possible. So let's go ahead and do that. So we'll confirm that. We've already had some events here. This one gave us a research bonus for artillery. And this is the event we just had. Uh, taking a look at the event that we got here was 10% progress to the special project. So we have some army experience, probably not enough to fully design the medium tanks. Could make some adjustments. I feel like we should just go ahead and finish the light tanks. You know, the, the adjustments I wanted to make to them since we already have those tanks out there. You'll notice that the max speed here has increased significantly because of all those bonuses that we're getting. So we're at 11.9. So we're going to want that to be a bit faster. But I also want to add a little bit of armor on there. So let's get them up to engine 11 and armor 5. And then we also need to upgrade the radio here. And I think that's all that we're going to do uh, for the Panzer IIs. Uh, we can go ahead and have it display the dynamic version numbering. Uh, that's only going to take four experience. Update the production line. And then we'll see what all we can do with the tanks, which we are using the, the Panzer IVs. So I guess that's the one we'll make the adjustments to. So first of all, I'd like to change the MIO. I don't actually want to use that one. We're going to use the medium tank designer here. So that'll result in us getting higher breakthrough. Uh, the production costs will be a little bit higher, but they'll also have better armor and defense. So I think that's a nice first uh, change to make. And then we're going to go ahead and change the gun up to the medium cannon to get a bit more heart attack and slightly less soft attack. It is also going to cost us when it comes to reliability and we're going to get more breakthrough and, and of course the, the higher piercing as well. And then we'll want to upgrade the radio to the improved radio. And we do need to get that reliability up. So rather than getting the Christie suspension, we're going to get the torsion bar. Because otherwise the reliability is terrible. So that's going to cost us 13 experience. Still have some adjustments we want to make. Probably get rid of the smoke launchers. And instead put a secondary turret on there. Just the heavy machine guns for the extra soft attack. Make up for what we lost there. So with our remaining experience, let's get the max speed up. Try and get up to 8. I'd like to add more armor, but we just don't have enough experience and the reliability is incredibly low at the moment. So that's certainly a little bit of an issue, uh, but it's fine for now. Let's go ahead and save that. The original design didn't have great reliability either. I think it was actually a bit lower than what we have there. So we didn't build any of those because we never got the factories invested in them. Uh, so that's fine because I don't really want to build those. And then we can also start working on the medium self-propelled artillery. This needs to have adjustments too, but uh, I just want to get some of them out there. I suppose we'll use the medium tank designers for those as well. Yeah, the, the problem here is just a lack of factories. we got so much stuff that we're currently working on. But as we get this other equipment, uh, you know, satisfied our needs for that, then we start pulling from this. I'm already pulling from the trucks. We need to pull from the support equipment. We're still quite short. So I'm not sure what this event here is about. German Sweden wants to expand control because it's involving the Union of Soviet Republics, which we're not at war with them just yet. I'm assuming that means like this territory will be granted to them. But yeah, we're not going to do that. We're not even at war with them anyways. So we almost have our focus completed. Just a few more days. That's actually what I wanted to get to uh, for today's episode. Also, I forgot that I was going to go ahead and attempt to send an attache to, to Japan. They would not accept. Nobody would ever accept. Everybody always asks me why I don't use those more. Uh, mostly because I don't think about it. I forget about it. But also, nobody ever accepts them. So we can't yet do the first Vienna award. We have to wait for the response back from Czechoslovakia. So we're going to go and do the war preparations next. Since we have to do this while we're at peace. And so I want to make sure that we get that bonus. And it's only a 35 day focus. So they did refuse us. So that's not surprising. I was kind of expecting that to happen. Uh, that's why we have this operative here working on getting that influence up. And I suppose we're going to have to go to war with them too. Uh, as far as who might join that, as of right now it's just Romania. So I suppose we'll be attacking them next. We'll do that in the beginning of the following episode. we got to get our troops moved over here as well. Uh, we're going to move our tanks since we're going to do that war before we go to war with Austria. Since of course this will result in a much larger 
conflict. Hungary then will also give us another front to use against Austria. And this is a, a much easier path to get to Vienna, the Austrian capital. So yeah, we'll do this war first. So we'll have to get all of our planes moved over here. Again, get the tanks into the area. I'll do all that before the next episode. So unfortunately, we do have to end today's episode here. Hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, make sure you have a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. Do hope to see you on the next one where uh, we'll be attacking Czechoslovakia. And we'll have to see if this results in a much larger conflict against the faction which continues to grow. And we haven't even seen neither France nor Italy join, both of which are communist countries, which I would expect to join that faction. So we'll have to see what happens in the next one. Do hope to see you there, and thanks for watching.